Good morning everyone. In your spelling lesson today, you need to put words into syllables. Now I thought we'd just revise how we do this because it's been a long time since we did this in the classroom and people might need a little bit of a reminder. Okay, so the first thing I thought we'd think about is why do we put the words into syllables? We don't just do it because it gives you something to do. We put words into syllables because it helps us with our spelling. If you can say the words slowly and you can work out the syllables and you know the rules for putting words into syllables, it will help you spell your words right. Okay, so remember in the classroom when we're putting words into syllables, we work out first how many syllables the word has. And we do that by putting our fingers underneath our chin and let's say that we were thinking about the word syllables, we would go syllables, and we know that it's got three syllables, all right? Now, we also know that each word, syllable has to have a vowel in the syllable, and that if there are double consonants, we always split the syllables there. So we'll do this with two words. So because we've been talking about syllables, we'll start with that one, okay? So, all right. So we've got that here. Now, when I said it, sil, la, bulls. Okay? Now, we know that if there is a double consonant, it's not a vowel, that we have to break the word there for a syllable. All right? We also know that each syllable has to have a vowel. But this is an interesting one because in the word syllable in this first syllable y is acting as a vowel because you know that y often acts as a as a vowel so we've got si la bulls now this is a common suffix that goes on the end of a word so you don't break that up either so si la bulls has three syllables okay let's look at another word I'll just write disappointed. See how I'm saying the word slowly too, because that helps you as well. So first, I'm going to say it so that I know how many syllables I have to find. Disappointed. Four. All right. So something that might help you as well is if you look for prefixes. Prefix being a group of letters that comes before the main word. So it would go there. Okay. Now we've got some double consonants here. So we know that it has to go in there, the syllable break. And then this here is a common suffix. So that would just go on its own. That's commonly added to the end of a word. So then we've got dis, up, point, ed. So there's the four, four syllables. And this here is the root word or the base word. And often that will just be one syllable as well. So you have a go at putting the words that you need to into syllables today. And I'll check in with you tomorrow to see how you went with them. Okay, bye for now.